Good day, I am Rosetta Case and I will present to you Designing for Educational Resilience to Reduce School Dropout, a case study of Namibian Sam Lemus. Each year hundreds of Lemus drop out of school and this is a great concern not just nationally but worldwide. Based on an in-depth investigation of the local challenges and mobile digital application with a role model approach and local content was created. On our case study in Namibia, 10 SAM youth who had completed secondary school participated, 10 SAM youth who dropped out of school, as well as 12 SAM members in grade 4 to 7 participated. Um, in accordance with our aim, the research approach was divided into three stages, namely identifying adversities based on previous and current obstacles, contextualized exploration of educational resilience and iterative prototype construction, and evaluation. Here we can see um, youth who completed secondary school where they were video recorded individually where they shared um, narrative um, interviews. The interviews were designed to identify previous issues they had faced during their school life cycle. Here we can see um, youth who dropped out of school participated um, where audio recorded um, narrative interviews were conducted. Both the groups were asked to give motivational advice to the Sun Learners. With the Sun Learners, we had a full day session um, which um, then determined current issues. These were split into four sections. In the first, in the first section, um, the learners watched a video recording of interviews with San who had completed secondary school successfully, which helped them grasp the, the project's aim. Um, here in the second uh, section, we see that um, rich picture strategy was used to investigate and describe topics visually in order to const um, construct early mental models that facilitated open um, discussion. So the students were divided into groups of five and tasked to graphically express their current issues. Um, individual group conversations were then held, followed by a brief presentations of the rich images. Here's another student um, presenting their um, challenges. In the third um, section, learners were tasked to develop um, potential solutions to the stated difficulties and to create a poster to share. In the fourth section, the students designed motivational cards and their fellow learners, um, for their fellow learners and they were encouraging them not to drop out of school. Here we have an example of a motivational card created by one of um, the learners. In our phase two, the narratives were transcribed and some were translated into English from Chuanzi. Um, then prominent themes about adver adversity, um, adversities in the participants' narrative interviews and motivational advice were selected. Um, marking codes and structuring them into categories after gaining knowledge with the material. So the interview transcripts to the derived categories and results were then compared. After which key themes about adversities and solutions from the rich photographs of the participants were identified. In our phase three, the content analysis results as well as the narrative, um, rich images and motivational advice directly influenced the design of the mobile app. During the evaluation phase, the youth and learners were able to provide design ideas and specific change requests included in the next um, prototype then. So here we see that uh, nine of the 10 former SAN youth who had dropped out of school reviewed the software in two groups, exploring the features as well as reading stories. Here we see 12 Tongerbos learners which were divided into two groups and asked to explore the application after which they completed a usability evaluation questionnaire. A refinement were done and a third prototype were then created. Results show that external resources such as family support, education and school and community level activate individual traits towards specific resilient behaviors which build educational um, resilience. Look at, uh, looking at motivational advice, 
The same who dropped out advice empathetically that the learners should not quit school. Furthermore, the same who finished school reminded learners that they will face challenges, but they should not give up. Looking at the rich pictures, the major, uh, majority of the issues highlighted by existing learners were connected to financial concerns, specifically a lack of food, clothing, toiletries, school supplies and transportation. Um, we expanded on the idea of the book booklet prepared by the Anache Sun Trust with inspirational stories of Sen youth role models to motivate Sen learners. As a result, we developed a mobile application that allows Sen youngsters to share their stories and advice with an emphasis on the difficulties and problems they face, as well as stories about how they successfully overcame these challenges. Um, the second, as the first prototype included the information gained from the narrative interviews, rich pictures and motivational advice. The second prototype was then created as a fully functional Android app. The content of the app interface was categorized into themes as extracted from the narrative interviews, namely financial, social, emotional, personal, family and education. Users can post new stories, view stories, browse categories, use a dictionary and receive contact information for supporting. Um, organizations. Here we see the theme page on the left, stories in the middle and selected stories on the right hand side of the second um, prototype. Here um, learners are in an evaluation session where we collected feedback and the feedback about the mobile app from the learners was mostly positive. Also what we can see is um, the same who dropped out were eager to explore the app more than half of them could not understand the themes and were unsure where to locate information. Um, finally, we got um, a better knowledge, better knowledge of the challenges faced by sand learners in Namibia as well as factors associated with educational resilience. So although the mobile application requires sand youth to have access to a smartphone, which can be pricey and logistically difficult, it provides a platform for expanding on the Anache Sun Trust previously published booklet. The smartphone application in particular provides a dynamic solution by allowing SAN youngsters to um, post and share fresh narratives and material. The app will be, uh, will be part of a larger academic, um, educational resilience program driven by educational stakeholders ranging from government officials to classroom instructors. Um, and furthermore, the value of engaging learners in um, reshaping their own learning setting. Um, specifically, the role of children in participatory design has already been proven. So learners should continue to shape technology such as the Resilience app, among others, um, to ensure relevance and impact. Student involvement, achievement and well-being have all been connected to teacher assistance. Researchers discovered that teachers who demonstrate empathy, listen to kids and provide support, help address children survive better. Furthermore, teachers might utilize the Resilience app to promote empathy by browsing through the gathered stories of students and by browsing through the teacher stories to influence their positive attitude and behavior, emphasizing the importance of teacher support and care. To address the importance of educating teachers to recognize the unique challenges faced by minority and marginalized students within the community and the school, the school counselors could provide training to improve sensitivity towards the problem. Looking at limitations, these include the app language, uh, which influenced the usefulness, scarcity of phones in the past, and recall memories and retrospective and um, appraisals of youth. Despite being negative um, of the app in the evaluation, learners replied that the app may have been um, socially desirable. Looking at future work, to create um, an intervention that would help primary and secondary SAM learners in Namibia develop resilience. Currently, we are refining the mobile resilience app in order to incorporate and reco um, uh, recommendations from past usability testing sessions. As we refine the app, we will continue to engage parents, teachers, curriculum designers, and policymakers to ensure an integrated and sustainable strategy is built. Finally, allow me to express my gratitude sincerely and generally to MTC. NAS, NCRSD, as well as Kodak Institute for the support and opportunity given to contribute to the community, the country and the world at large. 
also a special appreciation to the late Mr. Africana and the same participants for their contribution.